Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. You guys are absolutely loving uh, the giant food uh, that James and I are putting together and to be honest, we're having a lot of fun making it too, but we don't want to discriminate food too much, okay? I haven't had too many comments, but some of you guys could be going, oh my gosh, that's really bad for you know people that can't afford food and blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna turn it on its head and we're gonna do some mini food. The first one is steak, onion rings and chips. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And I want to thank Liam McNamara for the suggestion. So now, am I sort of turning on its head and being discriminating towards fat people? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, so let's do it. Okay, so here are today's delicious ingredients. We have got ourselves a lovely juicy steak, potato for our chips, and the onion for the onion rings. That's actually a shallot, a little stronger, but it's smaller, right? And that's obviously a baby potato. Uh, I didn't explain the rules fully. Phoebe has got this china set. Uh, with little plates like this, amazing little teddy bear thing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, the aim is to make sure that the dinner is no bigger than that plate. So we're gonna fit it on there, and rather than eating it delicately off that, I'll probably just shove it in a shot glass and down it. All right, so I've just peeled the uh, nasty skinny bit off my shallot there, and I've probably got way too much, so I'm literally just gonna go down and take a slice in like that, and in there is gonna be our little onion rings. Can you see that, if I just push them out like that? Oh yeah, in fact, that's probably too big. Yeah, those bits are going to be too big, but I managed to get a nice little bit there, okay? And what I did, there was a little bit like this. I'm just going to stick my knife in a little, like I'm going to stab myself. But can you see, I just push a little bit out. If I twist that a little bit, just pop out. Go on, out it pops. Um, that is a little onion ring right there. See that? Onion rings. Right, so I'm now just working on my potato. And as you can see, I've trimmed off the sides and it's still way too big. So I'm going to have to halve that about there, I reckon. And then just do little strips like this. There we go. Okay, so I've got some little squares now. And then if I cut these maybe into thirds, like that, that'll be our chips right there. Okay, last little bit of prep is seasoning our steaks. A little bit of salt on there, a little bit of pepper, flip it over. Wow, look at that kitchen towel, nice and uh, drained there. In there. Oh yeah, salt and pepper, nice, lovely seasoned steak right there. All right, as you're here down below, we have got ourselves a lovely preheated oven. Let's just give these chips uh, a little bit of olive oil on there. Let's give them a little coating. That's gonna help them cook uh, nice and fast. Let's get them in the oven. I hope my baking tray is big enough. Mm. Uh, I don't think this is gonna take very long in the oven. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got a nice medium flame there. Here's our pan for our steak. All right, so I've added a little splash of oil in there. Uh, let's grab our steak with our tweezers. Oh yeah, here we go. Set it in there. Oh goodness gracious me. We're gonna go for well done, people, well done. That is cooking away beautifully. Let's uh, turn it over. <laughs> and there is our steak done. And like any good steak, it needs to rest. So we're just gonna leave it there, let it do its thing, while we work on our onion rings. All right, so our onion rings down there need a little bit of batter. So there's some flour going in. Teeny pinch of salt, I have washed my hands by the way. And a little dribble of water. Let's mix that together until we get a nice batter. All right, happy with that? Nice and loving batter kind of thing going on. Let's just get our onion rings in there, get it nice and coated. Of course, you could season this further. You, know, you could put some paprika in there, and then maybe just some more pepper. But there we go, our onion rings are ready for dunking. All right, so using the tweezers again, which I've also washed. Oh yeah, in that goes. Those onion rings are not gonna take very long at all. Right, just tipping it over. Oh yeah, can you see the color on that? Amazing. Yep, so I'm just sitting those down on some kitchen towel, a little dab there, you don't want any excess calorie content in there. Okay, so I've just put the last chip on there, nice and lightly golden brown. Our plate is ready, onion rings are ready, and our steak is actually rested with the juices. Alrighty, so there is our tiny plate. Let's sit uh, the steak right in the corner up there. Oh yeah. Stack in the chips like that, in they go. <laughs> and then uh, sit in the onion rings like so. And there we are my friends, that is a mini steak chip and onion ring dinner, which is probably about the size of my thumbnail, a little bit bigger. Unbelievable. I can't believe you worked. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe already. And if you've got another uh, mini food that you want me to try out, uh, put it on the list and I'll maybe stagger them in between the giant food ones with James. Uh, but there we go. That is how you make a mini steak chip and onion ring dinner. <laughs>
Mmm, <laughs> mm, my goodness. This should have been in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory film. That's amazing. You know, they had like liquid wallpaper and like the, the sweet that made every meal like in one. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is so good, so full of flavour, so yummy. I want to make a big one right now, and maybe I'll do just that. So, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.